James awoke to his phone ringing. He answered it sleepily. Hello? James, it's Thad. I got roofied last night and woke up in this lady's house. Thad telephoned. You're still there? James asked. Yes, because even though I was roofied and I think I was raped, when I woke up, she was sucking my penis. Thad equated confusingly. She what? Did it hurt? James exclaimed. No, it felt really good, like the best thing I've ever felt, Thad confessed. Well, so what are you going to do? James questioned, literally questioning everything about life at the same time. I don't know, man. I thought being raped would be awful. It seems like a harsh word, and now I'm not so sure, Thad said as his mind battled itself. For anyone wondering, the left side was winning. Well, we've got to go to work. I don't know what to say. I'll see you at Marcy's. James quickly hung up the phone and wondered how getting raped could ever be a good thing. They were taught in school to only pee out of their penises and never anything else. The teachers had told them it gets hard sometimes because you swallow too much air and you just need to burp until it goes soft again. But James had figured out what masturbating was and he knew how good it felt. Sucking a penis though, that sounded crazy. Like, sucking seems like such a violent word. And there's teeth in the mouth. Scary. Due to the knowledge dispersed, boys and men alike were constantly seen burping frantically and running around like it was the end of times. To the woman it was normal and comical. To the men it was very unsettling. But burp they did, and eventually it did go soft. As for when they woke up, in the night and their underpants were covered in goo, this was considered an extreme sneeze. Tissues were constantly stocked on nightstands and no further questions were asked. The male orgasm was classified as a myth and anyone claiming to have had one was sent to the nearest insane asylum. Chapter 4. Rape Jokes Are Different Here While they served customers, James and Thad were constantly lost in thought. James wondered to himself if anyone else knew that having their penis touched or sucked felt great, and was it dangerous to tell people? The first page in every textbook said, You'd be destroyed if you didn't follow the guidelines. Yeesh. James, you don't even know. Do you see the smile on my face? Thad gleamed. It was the greatest thing that has ever happened. So, are you going to go back? James questioned. I think so, Thad responded. You're going to go back to the lady that raped you? James said with a demeanor that if history hadn't been burned would have recalled the once famous What you talking about, Willis? line. You don't understand, James. Get your dick sucked and then talk to me. Otherwise, just give me some space. Thad ended the conversation. After work, James thought he would talk to Hallie about it. Well, not everything, but maybe he could get his dick sucked. What are you talking about, James? Hallie questioned, with eyes so wide like she would have just asked him, what the possible fuck? Well, I figured out that if I play with it, it feels good. And Thad figured out if someone sucks it, it feels even better, James explained. You pee out of that thing, James. Are you serious? That's not going near my hands or my mouth. Hallie disgusted. She half smiled, then put on literally the angriest face James had ever seen. Yeah, but you stick your finger in my butt and I shit out of there, James illustrated with hand motions. If you make a thumbs up symbol and put your other hand around it and then pull downwards, that's sign language for poop. That's so gross, James. Where is this language coming from? You never used to talk this way, and it's honestly disgusting. Are we going to have to break up? Hallie said, thinking there was no other option, because penises are only for peeing. So what the hell, James? I just, well, if that's what you want, fine. But, you know, I make you feel good, and I just thought it'd be nice. But no, that's fine, James passive-aggressively said. Fine, then we're broken up. I'll take you home, and I never want to hear from you again. You licked clit really well, but otherwise, these disgusting ideas have no place here, Hallie concluded. 
I wish I got raped, James said under his breath. What? Hallie questioned. I said that sounds great, James lied.